you guys welcome back so today I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look um, I wanted to create something glamorous and wearable but um, more play up with the cool tones normally I I tend to gravitate towards the warm neutral shade so I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit for you guys today so that's what I did um, I just kind of gathered just like dumped a bunch of products on my desk here and um, I'm working with some new products that I have not talked about on my channel so I'm really excited to share those with you guys and then I did work with some eyeshadow palettes that I've had in my collection for quite some time and some of my favorites so um, yeah let's go ahead and dive right into this look before we do if you are new to my channel hi my name is Lisa J I am a beauty and makeup enthusiast I um, absolutely love all things makeup and beauty related so I hope that you'll stick around check out some more of my videos subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed to my channel I upload videos um, mostly makeup but beauty related um, just kind of things that I um, enjoy sharing with my viewers so thank you guys for watching let's go ahead and dive right in all right so let's get this hair pulled back I didn't put any moisturizer on because I'm using a super moisturizing foundation. I'm using the new Josie Maron Vibrancy Foundation. I'm in the shade Mystical. This foundation provides medium to full coverage. It's packed with argon oil, so it's super hydrating to the skin. It gives the skin a really beautiful luminosity, a glow. If you have dry skin, you will probably love this foundation. If you have oily skin, I don't think that you will. If you like more of a matte skin like I have like I do, I mean matte is kind of more of my preference, um, this might not be your favorite foundation. It's a pretty foundation, but I find myself always setting it with powder, which kind of completely defeats the purpose of having a glowy foundation. Um, but it is really pretty and it's very hydrating, so this is probably a foundation that I'm gonna reach for in the winter more so than the summer. For concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Neutral, and I'm gonna just pack this all underneath my eyes and also a little bit around my nose. To blend this in, I'm gonna use my new It Cosmetics Foundation Brush. I finally uh, bought one of these guys, and it's my favorite foundation brush at the moment. And I'm just gonna press this in. Because my foundation is super moisturizing, I don't wanna move it around a whole lot. I am gonna set my foundation, which kinda takes away that glowiness, but this powder is like thebomb.com. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Skin Perfecting Powder, and I'm in the shade Medium. Can't say enough great things about this. Gorgeous, beautiful, flawless, lightweight airbrush coverage. It's so pretty. For bronzer, I'm using the Hourglass uh, Ambient Light Bronzer in Bronze Light. And I'm just gonna apply this um, around the perimeter of my hairline here and my cheekbones. So for brows, I've been doing a combo on my brows. I've been using the Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I've been using a new product that you guys have probably seen marketed on your Facebook uh, news feed. It's by Wonder Brow. Um, and a few YouTubers have actually done a review or first impressions of this. I want to say um, Tati with Glam Life Guru did one. And I know um, It's Judy uh, Time TV did a review on this product. It was her review that actually prompted me to order this product. So that's what I've been using for my brows. Um, so what I do first is I just fill them in with the brow definer. This has been one of my favorite brow products for a while now. Um, I'm almost out of this one and I already have a backup restock ready to go. Um, I really like it though just because it is kind of, it's the benefit of like a pencil and a shadow almost in one. You know, it's kind of natural, more natural than um, like a real skinny brow pencil but it gives, it's a little easier to give um, more definition and preciseness than like just a shadow. Of course, if you use a really small angled brush, you can get pretty precise with a shadow, but I don't know, I just like this because it's easy um, and very natural looking. But so what I'll do first is I'll just go and fill in my brow with this guy, and I'll do a pretty good job of filling um, filling him in. So, you know, I could just kind of leave it like this if I wanted to, but what I've been doing is I've been taking the Wonder Brow and going on top of it, just kind of in the area where I have the most like bulk or bulkiness in my brow. And I've been putting the Wonder Brow on top of that and combing through it. So let me find that and tell you guys about that. 
Okay, so this is the Wonder Brow. Um, it only comes in a few shades, I want to say. I am in the shade Brunette. Um, it's described as a brow gel, but um, what's really interesting is the application looks more like a lip like lip brush. It's not like a doe foot wand or a, um, well, it wouldn't be a doe foot wand, right? It's not like a mascara wand, which typically most brow gels that I've ever used are. So this is a little bit um, kind of intimidating to use, but I've actually found it really easy to use. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go directly on top of, and I'm going to just do little light strokes just on top of the bulk of my eyebrow. I'm not really going to pull it towards my the tail end of my brow, just on that bulk. And I'm just going to go directly on top of what I've already done with the brow definer. So this is just going to give it a little bit more, um, just fill it in a little bit more, but it's also going to help set it because this stuff is really, really waterproof. Um, the videos that I saw all showed how it just doesn't transfer. I mean, I think it's Judy Time TV even, um, like washed her face and it was still her brows were still in place so that's what I really like about it then I go back with a brow comb and I just gently and very softly kind of comb my hairs in place I don't want to press too hard because it's just going to remove a lot of that product so I'm really um, soft and gentle with it I've also seen it applied using an angle brush so taking it and like putting it on your hand taking an angle brush and applying it that way um, that's a really great way to apply it too if this is the only product that you want to use but like I said I've been using it in combination with the brow definer it's not really a necessary step it's just something that I've enjoyed playing with and testing out and just wanted to report back to you guys on that for eyeshadow, I'm going to prep and prime my eyes using the Paint Pot um, in Soft Ochre. I'm going to use two palettes for this look. The first one is the Tartlet Palette, and I am grabbing this shade. Um, what shade is this? It's called Natural Beauty, and I'm just popping this into the crease to give me a cool tone transition shade. Then I'm going to go on top of that with an, a little bit more of a gray tone from the palette. The first one is more of a plummy shade, and the next color that I, I'm going to use is a little bit more gray, and that color is called Power Player. So it's a really pretty like brownish gray, and I'm just going to build that directly on top of the uh, shade Natural Beauty that I've already put down. Then I'm going to reach into the Balm Cosmetics Shady Lady Palette and I'm taking this shadow called Devilish Danielle and I'm just popping this in the inner corner of my eye to give a really pretty uh, bright highlight in that inner corner. I'm really just going to focus that right there in the inner corner. Then I'm going to go on the outer corner and outer part of my lid with the shade Insane Jane. It's a really gorgeous like grayish silver. Um, and I'm going to pack this all over. It blends really nicely with the color palette that we're using. Then I'm going to go back and I'm just going to uh, kind of blend my crease color a little bit more and intensify it a tad bit more. So I'm just using the same shades that I've already used and just going back in. For a highlight, I'm going to use the brightest white from the Shady Lady palette. I'm not exactly sure the name, but I'll have all that info in the description box below. The shadow is really intense, so you have to be careful when you're using it for a brow highlight. For eyeliner, I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in black, and I'm tight lining my eye, and then I am um, creating a really soft little bit of line on the upper um, lash line. I'm going to take a brush with a shadow um, from the Shady Lady palette called uh, Feisty Felicia, this dark plum here, and I'm going to so softly like smudge and smoke that top liner out a bit. I'm using a 219 brush by MAC. It's a really like fine pencil brush. So any small brush that you have for shadow will work for this. And I'm doing my signature bright waterline. I'm using Pacifica pencil in the shade Bare. And for my lower lash line, I'm just going to build those same colors that we used in the crease from the Tartlet palette, and I'm going to smoke that out on my lower lash line. I'm not using a black pencil down there. I want to keep it relatively soft, but I do want to tie in um, the shadows that we used on the upper lid.
For lashes, I'm going to do a whole lash situation here. I'm starting by um, priming my lashes with the Dior Maximizer Lash Serum. This is my favorite uh, pre, like I guess, lash primer. And um, I'm really wiggling that into the root of my lashes, as you can see. Then I'm going to go on top of that with the NARS Audacious Mascara. This stuff is awesome, you guys. Uh, as you can see, I have a small sample size. I got it in like a VIB rouge set and I love it. It's a really, really, really great lengthening mascara. I like to layer it with my Chanel La Volume mascara, which I'm going directly on top of that with. La Volume is more of a thickening mascara. They both offer both lengthening, lengthening and thickening. The Audacious is more on the lengthening side. The, the La Volume is more on the thickening, but the two together are just a killer combination. I love it. Anytime I regret like taking off my lash extensions, I just have to like do this combination and then I'm like, I don't need lash extensions look at these lashes and I'm using the Chanel La Volume on my lower lash line sorry guys I have the sniffles for blush I'm keeping the cool tone going I'm using Bobbi Brown blush palette in powder pink and pale pink I'm mixing those two shades together and I'm just popping that on my cheeks And for lips, I'm using Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in the shade 22C. It's a really nice, really pale, kind of like bubblegum pink. And because it's pretty pale, I'm gonna go ahead and fill most of my lips in just so you don't see a funky line when you blend when I'm trying to blend it with the lipstick. I'm using the YSL number 10 lipstick. It's a really pretty cool tone, like pale nude pink. And then I'm gonna top it off with the Buxom Hot Toddy lip gloss. And that is the complete and final look. Actually, I take that back. I decided to go back and add a little Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder to highlight the center of my face. And that, you guys, is the complete and final look. Thanks for watching. And that completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I really enjoyed creating it for you. Um, let me know if there's a specific product that I use that you would like me to do a dedicated review on. I am always open to your feedback and that's what really helps give me ideas for my next videos. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do so and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.